What's up? This is Bo. Welcome to my channel, Barracuda Time. I am an entrepreneur, a business owner, and a watch enthusiast. In this channel, I will be sharing my unique watches, travel experiences, and other gems in my life. If you are also a fan of watches and travels, please subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram, same name, Barracuda Time. Two years ago. I left my number with a lady. Since then, I have picked up hundreds of scam calls from unknown numbers. Finally, two days ago, I got her call from a still unrecognized number, telling me that she is ready. Yes, I got the call from the boutique that the Rolex piece I've been waiting for is finally available. It is the Rolex Submariner black bezel with date. With the high annual production and strong demand, I believe nobody will disagree that Rolex is the most widely recognized luxury watch brand in the world. Among Rolex professional watch series, Submariner has the longest history and is famous for its durability. Since first released in 1953, Submariner has been the most iconic Rolex professional watch and loved. By so many people, if you look at all the Submariner references in the past seventy years, the design has been extremely consistent. The improvements are mainly on the details of the watch and the materials used. So the Rolex Submariner always looks similar, but more and more accurate, doable, and comfortable. Now, let's open the box. It's the typical Rolex beige color outer box and the green watch box. Opening the box, you can see the Rolex Submariner watch as well as the seal. Put it aside, and if you open the small space on the cover, you can find three things: the Rolex warranty card, the watch service manual, as well as the watch instructions. And here is the watch we're going to review today. This one two six six one zero LN is the black stainless steel Submariner with date, which is the latest version of this most iconic design since 1953. This version was first released in 2020. It is 41 millimeters in diameter. Which is slightly larger than the previous ones. The stainless steel case material is developed by Rolex, called Oyster Steel, which belongs to the 904L steel family. It is extremely resistant to corrosion. As a diving watch, the crown is always the weakest spot for water leaking. The crown of this watch is screwed down with triple lock, triple waterproofness system. The entire watch is waterproof up to 300 meters. The unidirectional rotating bezel is made with scratch-resistant ceramic. On the bezel, there are one-minute markers between zero and 15 minutes, and five-minute marker for the rest of the bezel. I have to say, this bezel feels the best among all the diving watches I've ever rotated. You can feel that the bezel is perfectly held and rotates both tightly and smoothly. The sound is very crisp. The watch dial is covered by a flat sapphire crystal, which is also scratch resistant. The dial inherits the same design with the very original version. On the black background, the hour markers are very bold and easily recognizable. Above the axle, the Rolex logo and Oyster Perpetual date are printed. Below the axle, there were four lines, including Submariner, 300 meter waterproof, and superlative chronometer officially certified words. The date window with Sepulus is located at three o'clock p. 
position. To me, the dial is a little too busy and I would definitely prefer more black space on the dial. Just like the markers, the hour and mini hands are both quite thick and loaded with beautiful, long-lasting blue luminescence materials. So in the dark environment, or especially under the water, the watch is easily readable. Isn't this amazing? The 3235 caliber is manufactured in-house at Rolex. It is automatic winding with power reserve of 17 hours and frequency of 8 Hz. The caliber has plus minus 2 seconds per day precision after casing. Like most of Rolex watches, this watch has closed back, which indicates strongly that it is a tool watch. The Eister bracelet consists of three piece solid links, the folding Eister lock safety clasp, and the Rolex glass lock extension system which provides extra extension to the diving watches. I have worn Rolex metal bracelets of different years and different watch series. I have to say, Rolex Oyster bracelets, all of them, they wear very, very comfortable. Today, I'm wearing my Blancpain 5015. As a typical stainless steel watch with steel bracelet, it has noticeable weight on the wrist, but it doesn't make you feel bulky. It is a very balanced, luxury, heavy feelings. Even marketed as a diving watch, this Rolex Submariner is extremely versatile. It can easily handle both formal and casual attires. That's also why a lot of people choose this watch as the only watch in their daily wearing. As of July 2023, the luxury watch market has significantly cooled down as compared with two years ago. However, this Rolex Submariner is still not readily available in Rolex boutiques. Usually, a waiting time of one to two years is required. In the United States, this watch is officially priced as $10,250. And on the secondary market, this watch usually has 20 to 30% of premium. In summary, this watch is probably the most widely worn luxury watch in the world. It is backed by rich history and made as a perfect daily luxury to watch. At the same time, the continuous same design from the first Submariner in the 1953 made this watch truly iconic and collectible. On this watch, we can clearly see the progression of technologies of watch industry. What would you choose if you have to pick only one watch to manage all the daily situations? Please leave your answers down below in the comments. If you like this video, Please hit the thumb up button and subscribe to this channel. In the next video, I will review another very famous diving watch. Guess which one it is. I will see you next time.